In this video, we are going to create a 3D stall activation in 3D Studio Max. We are going to create and with the help of Editable Poly, Editable Spline, Lighting, Shading and Render Settings. So let's get it started. First of all, I'm going to create a floor which is approximately 20 feet by 20 feet. So now I'm going to take uh, adjust it and then with the app of rotation tool I'm going to duplicate with the holding shift key sorry with the holding shift key I'm going to take duplicates and just trying to adjust on the back side of the stall just to create the back wall but the height is too much so I'm going to give the height is uh, approximate uh, 10 feet 10 feet is okay uh, 20 by 20 and 10 feet so one thing I'm going to make sure it is the depth floor depth I'm going to give the 4 inch approx it's the same depth 4 inch now that's okay it's 20 by 20 and the 10 feet height what I'm going to do I'm going to create the stall something more effective and uh, something more detailed so just take the shape tool go to the rectangle and draw a shape perfect I'm going to create the roof of this stall that's why I have taken this uh, so furthermore, I'm just going to right click and add table spline. And in there, I'm going to take segments, delete the extra segments. I'm going to take the vertex and select the vertex, make it flat. Like this. Good. Flat is help you to give the curve shape. So just going to fillet this. And the third thing is a spline. The spline is a complete shape. I'm going to give the outlines of this roof. So it is the outline, which is make it double. And in the end, I'm just going to apply a modifier, which is called extrude. Extrude will give the depth in the roof if you increase the amount like this. Perfect. So, so I'm just going to get the basic shape of this install, like a floor, roof, and the back wall. Front is my entrance, so I'm just going to create this uh, portion or maybe separation between of each. Same thing, I'm going to give the take the rectangle tool and draw a shape, and the same process I'm going to be make it like this spline modeling. Select the segments, delete extra segment, select the vertex, and make it flat. And in the end, you have to select the spline and make it outline so to increase the outline to give the tab. And furthermore, extrude modifier. Extrude modifier and increase the depth like this. I think it's six. Now, just try to adjust. Maybe I have to make it something more, more or less, I guess. No, no, that's too much. Uh, if I make it duplicate, so it will take too much area. I guess this is enough. Uh, fine, just going to take the box tool and create a pillar behind the walls like this. Make sure you can adjust perfectly in like zoom and you can adjust this properly with the top row like uh, okay okay in this one that's perfect i'm going to duplicate shift drag the mouse and duplicate adjust it properly once again and now you have to select all of them give the same basic material it's actually my way of working i give the same materials and give the black color to make it black topology it's not necessary it's just a complementary so and what am i going to do i'm just going to adjust the roof from this part and now shift and drag the mouse to make it duplicate that's perfect now we need to create the front part so just take the box tool and i'm going to adjust the box it is actually the front part where we can have our reception table or we can have our uh, brand ambassador. So I guess we need to adjust 
in the spread bar the proc 6 fit and give the height now it's perfect you may click right click and table poly converted and select the word edges select the vertical edges to create horizontal edge remember select the vertical edges to create horizontal edge and select the polygon and make it extrude like this you just need to adjust this part so just uh, select the vertex and adjust good we have the basic shape of uh, our install the front part the back wall and the side and the top and the floor as well now i just need to create a table a table which is the reception table so i'm just going to give the height and width and depth properly according to the sizes after that i'm just going to take the duplicate uh, but before that i need to adjust select shift press drag the mouse duplicate and just try to adjust it according to the size but the easiest way is to make it more larger than your side panel I get this much better it's actually a basic shape I didn't make it anything more realistic in it it's just a basic shape to reserve a place for the reception so now I need to create this part as a sitting area I need to take the extended primitives chamfer box and just create a box chamfer box is a smooth sided box like this this one you can give this smoothness in it you need to increase the flit amount and just increase the flit segments to create more effective and more smoothness i need to adjust it properly here or maybe the height is too much so i need to decrease the height as well now this is proper sitting part which you can call it couch okay we need to take the duplicates like this and this oh i have deleted because uh, it's not properly adjusting one more time i'm gonna get the amount two this okay i need to try one more time but i guess it's if I need to adjust this, so it's perfectly alright right now, but no, 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 why? It's too much, um, like the setting arrangement is too much, many of the people can sit right here. I don't want it, I just need to delete this, and I just need to adjust these things between of each. Good. Okay, so furthermore task is to create the table. I'm going to give the selective primitives, take a tube and draw a tube like this you can uh, adjust this and now you can go to the modify panel and after going to the modify panel you need to decrease the size approx four four sides it will help you to create a square shape and now you have to adjust the radius then right click convert to editable poly and with the help of vertex you can adjust the table as well give the polygon delete the extra part and then adjust adjust this properly so we have created a simple or basic table you can duplicate to another side as well so i have so many things about this tall and i have convert this into editable poly select the edge and this edge okay make it chamfer like a round shape or select the segments increase the segments to make it more is uh, more smooth 
okay you can insert like this good and then you have to extrude this oh that's too much now it's okay well about this part i need to take the same thing poly age and chamfer amount and segments okay so you can see i have created too much this time i need to add something more in it like uh, maybe stools or maybe something but first you have to go to render settings and select the v-ray in the v-ray you will have to come in the export mode bucket everything will be okay but you have to check this lock noise pad a radius map low value and the dynamic limit is 4000 across that's perfect it's actually a v-ray setting render setting if to the materials v-ray material then apply the v-ray material approx white color with the reflection as well like reflection approx this part you can see for 0 0.9 so you can see the reflection here and the material it's white now the copy the same material give the name of black black top select the top and just give the black color like this that's a black color and the back wall oh sorry a front wall is also black good okay we just need to give the black and from this point you have to give the black but this polygonals back you have to give PDA two-sided material it's actually used to pass out the lights in it so I have applied two-sided material here. Another video material and make it wooden pack like this. And this time I have to apply this on tables. Uh, you can isolate the table by pressing Alt-Q. Apply the UVW map, it's a modifier. It's, it's actually used to adjust the texture in it. So UVW map adjust the texture like this you have XYZ length depth or height parameter now copy this and apply the same paste here so the materials are adjusted in the table as well now the next time is uh, give the reflection 0.9 so it's a proper reflection so now it's time to select the texture of couch i'm gonna go to the couch for the couch textures i think it must be okay c drive program files no no this program files or it has 3d max and maps you can find the maps here which is built in so i'm just gonna take the fabric it's not the fabric it's the fabric right fabric texture and apply here same thing i'm going to assign uw map and adjust it copy paste the map assign the texture paste the map assign the texture paste the map same process assign the texture isolate assign the texture and say paste the map paste and paste so finally we have done something good okay the black pillar black back wall black front and the black top this time i'm gonna take floor seriously so i need to pick out the texture of floor i guess uh, First, I need to find. Uh, I will prefer you to select the proper texture. I guess this one, this one, this one, this one. This textures, yeah. Okay, let's try this. 
No way, that's totally weird. I don't want this. Maybe I think uh, this has to be UW map and we join this. Actually, it looks as well pretty weird. <laughs> okay. I don't need to give the texture, I'm just gonna give the color here. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna give the color here, which is approx gray color with the reflection proper 0.95 or 0.9. Okay. So I have given the textured, I have given the color. One thing is the first thing is Illustrator. I have created a simple logo in the Illustrator, which is Falcon Travel and Tours. I'm going to save this, save this texture in the version 8. It will help you to import in the 3ds Max like this. Perfect. Like this. Okay. I need to increase the size, rotate it properly, and adjust on the top but before that you need to apply extrude modifier this one now we have a 3d logo on my 3ds max interface you can adjust this falcon falcon travel and tours there's actually an unregistered logo so make sure it doesn't have any copyright uh, i'm going to take the duplicate one more and adjust on the reception desk like this okay that's it's outstandingly done still I need to fill something more I'm just gonna take the box and draw it uh, just to show the photo frames or maybe you can call it a screen or you can call it SMD but just for the adjustment, just for the adjustment, I'm just going to make it a frame like this and insert a little bit. Okay. I don't need to explode more. I just need to give the duplicate by shift dragging mouse. Okay. And duplicate the both of them and easily adjust here duplicate more and I just need to adjust on the back wall as well because the back wall is totally empty looking empty now this one have to adjust back wall perfectly done and uh, I need to isolate or maybe adjust with the falcon logo on the pillars so I need I am just trying to adjust my falcon here okay that's perfectly adjusted my falcon travel and tours duplicate and in the end select both of them duplicate both of them okay rotate and adjust okay i have applied a shader black Do one thing more, I'm just going to select this, apply the material. But one thing which I would like to have, which is applying textures. I need to apply the texture. Maybe I have to find out with the help of Google. So let's go to the Google and uh, just find this thing out. Not cars posters I suppose I have taken this poster save image so I need to apply 
desktop and this poster assign show perfectly I have this uh, I'm going to apply UAW map all right that looks pretty cool it's you yes you can okay for this I need to adjust and now both of them select polygon assign and paste the UAW map assign paste the UAW map okay we have three more frames on the back wall so I need to call first I need to call my back setting area which is uh, stool I have already modeled this stool behind of this like this I need to isolate this because I want to adjust my stool properly here okay duplicate suppose number of four and five okay adjust in the center and adjust on the floor as well perfect right mm, I need to unhide all but now I have found a problem which is this delete this because they are inter interacting into the pillars so we have already created this tool but now one thing more I need to create lights lights in these panels so I'm going to take the tube adjust the size of the tube So adjust this frame properly. And just take the V-ray light and draw the light inside of this tube. So take the light group and duplicate into the four or maybe three or I think four is enough make it more small I guess I guess this this one is perfect I'm going to duplicate here in the second panel and duplicate on the top panel but we need to adjust the top because top is high a little bit So with the help of lights, I have this. Just duplicate this tool to make it sitting area for the receptionist or for the brand ambassador or whatever you call. I need I think we need to apply the texture here as well. So I just take the chairs and apply white texture. It's a white couch or white texture tool. good okay open the group select assign and close the group because these is tool in the form of group the same thing open the group select tool apply the texture which is this time black because it's on the reception and the reception is black so I've applied a black stool texture here I have applied the two sided material why because I want to glue the light inside of it that's why I applied two sided material. I'm going to take the light and just draw the light on the on the logo of the Falcon Travel. Like this. Just adjust the logo into the lights. So by the help of this, it will this light will glow. Give the color of the light or again you have to apply the light in that center of the table as well. Oh, that's a mistake. Again, duplicate and make it copy. Adjust the light in the table. 
because table will also glow we have also applied V-Ray to sided material on the table now we have three frames behind uh, behind the wall and be, uh, back side of the wall so I need to apply three textures more suppose um, I'm gonna find post ads so I have so many ads this coffee ad okay coffee bulb give the name bulb and the last one is basketball so the basketball uh, I have just uh, copied these three posters and now I need to apply this on these three posters select this go to the video material assign and select the texture suppose basketball assign now the same thing select go to the video material and just find out bulb assign good the third one the third one the same process select go to the material give the name coffee and find out your coffee on the top side and apply this i just need to adjust these things with the help of UW map so i need to make it more effective that's perfect and one thing more I need to have is adjust this border you will be map and increase the size now we have actually created a proper stall the proper stall with the proper modeling lighting shading at the texturing uh, so I just need to take out the render before render I need to create a studio light setup with the help of cylinder okay convert to poly and delete your top then go to the camera select to target camera and make a camera press C so you can see the camera angle like this okay perfect first uh, you have to select the frame size 120 by 720 and then go to the material Assign a material on the cylinder, back side of the cylinder. In the end, you have to select the light, V-Ray light, and take the V-Ray light to the top side. Select this light and select the parameters with a approximate. Give the light color, and then just to render. This render is the start. Now your stall is getting your final output. Thank you so much for watching this.